Hey everybody, my name is Lyle and welcome to the channel. So we've got some more football stadiums here for our college football journey. This is going to be American Athletic Conference. So let's jump in. Let's have a look at this one. American Athletic Conference. It has some fantastic stadiums, but they've got to work on that name. It's a bit generic. Technically, guess, every well, FBS guess, conference is an American Athletic Conference. I guess it is. Anyway, but... who really cares? Here are exactly. the American Athletic Conference football stadiums. Oh, the wow. Ficklin Stadium, home of the East Carolina Pirates. 51,000 It's known Pirates. as the Rowdy Dowdy, but you'll probably know that if you've listened to this song by the famous rapper, Douglas McNugget. You pull up in your Audi and say howdy, rowdy, dowdy. You oh my into God. a Saudi. He's angry and he's shouting. He shows his belly button and you see that it's an Audi. Hey. Oh my God. Just, just terrible music. <laughs> How on earth did that go platinum? <laughs> what? The? Since half the viewers have now switched oh off, my let's God. just get into the stadium. The Big exterior horseshoe. is fairly bare bones, although there are some nice hits of brickwork in places. On the inside, it's a horseshoe design with an upper deck on just one side. Nothing oh, yeah. out of the ordinary. Oh, pirates. But I always like to see some splashes of color. This time it's in the form yeah, of 10,000 yeah. or so purple chairback seats. Yeah. Always a welcome addition in a stadium full of bench seating. Also, the Murphy Center at it's the end is quite the color. easy on the I like eye. it. Oh, Norman wow. Stadium, home of 30, the Green Wave. Considering they used to play at the Superdome, an NFL stadium, wow. I still think they would have been very pleased to move into their own brand new stadium, even if it is much, much smaller. It's far from being a typical college football stadium design. The very modern look closely what was resembles it called? The green soccer wave? stadiums, Is that right? like this one in Mexico. The partially covered main stand that holds the press boxes and luxury suites is detached from the rest of the seating. Which is also something that's somewhat wow, common in soccer stadiums. Wow, they've got a lot of uh, fields around there too. But it's looking fantastic. And the sheer amount of green throughout the stadium is quite appropriate given mm. the team's name. Bounce House, home of the UCF Knights. 44, Firstly, props to them okay. for naming the stadium Bounce House. Too many stadiums are called so-and-so stadium or so-and-so field. Bounce House. It shakes See. when the crowd jumps around, so you okay. call it the bounce house. Okay, well, that makes sense. Usually okay. you'd see a stadium like this and assume that it had been around forever, maybe starting out small and growing into what it is today. But no, it was built this century, and I suppose when you take a closer look at the design, it's quite clear. The uniformity of it. Yeah, it's very... The exterior in particular. Yeah. Also, they're not going to call a 100-year-old stadium bounce house, are they? But what I'm trying to say is they've done a great job replicating the classic college aesthetic. Actually, it looks pretty still good. I like including the, some modern touches. the outside of it. Gerald J. Ford Stadium, home of the SMU Mustangs. Wasn't he a president? It's Gerald not Ford? named after the former vice president ah. of the United States. I'm ah. not ashamed to say that I did assume that it was named after him. So did I. This Gerald Ford is just your <laughs> run-of-the-mill billionaire. Ah. The stadium is basically halfway between the last two. Not Mustang. geographically, I meant design-wise. It's got a grassy knoll, once again, too. despite having a very classic look to it, with its horseshoe layout and hey, brick exterior, field, too. it too is relatively new. I love the grass berm to the south, but it could potentially be turned into a bowl mm. stadium, with a new stand being placed on top of the berm. And I can't Mustangs. help but feel that that would kill the grass. Either way, the spectators will yes, still get that great view grass. of the distant Dallas skyline. Nice. Okay. TDECU Stadium, home of the Houston Cougars. It's Boy, another yeah. stadium built this century, but they haven't tried in the slightest to go with a traditional look for this stadium. Which is usually the case, because the college normally wants the stadium to match the campus. But this campus isn't a particularly old one. So they could do what they like, and thus it's one of the most modern wow, that's a big stadiums car park. there is. Holy moly. I do really like oh, the way it looks, big the metallic red and silver the facade in particular. Side. And it's not just a pretty face, it blocks the wind, that's sun unusual. and sideways rain, but still allows the air to flow. And just like the last one, you get a view of a Texan city skyline, but it's an even better view. 
Not saying Houston looks better, it's just, it's just closer. And just to clarify, I'm not saying it looks worse either. It, it bo both good looking cities. <laughs> Back out now while you can. Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium. Tennessee. Home of the Memphis Tigers. Hmm. This one's pretty cool. It's like a wow, more simple and symmetrical version sides, of Austin Stadium. The exterior uh, is not quite as cutting edge, but it's quite very imposing. Very similar, isn't it? This section in particular is quite tall. It was named not for its shape, but after the annual game that it hosts, the Liberty Bowl. Okay. The fact that it's one of the few proper bowl stadiums is a happy coincidence, I guess. It's the largest stadium in Memphis, as you might have guessed, and it actually hosted an NFL That's team for big, one season. Pretty big. No, um, there wasn't a short-lived Memphis-specific team. It was just the Tennessee Oilers, now Titans, in 1997. It also hosted three other pro football teams that lasted just one year. So pro teams don't survive here, but the Tigers <laughs> have been here since 65, aka oh, wow. the beginning. Okay. Lincoln Financial Field, home of the Temple Elves. Philadelphia. Owls. Wow, that's a Who'd spread out it? conference. Eagles can share their nest with the Elves. I wouldn't have thought that will work that out. That's a given tall that stadium on the side, isn't it? Eagles aren't. Anyway, that we're getting very off topic. Tall. If you don't know, it is home to the Philadelphia Eagles of the NFL as well. That's oh, why it looks a bit more expensive than your typical oh. college stadium. With the chair back seats throughout, the interesting looking roof canopies that seem to shade very little seats but look quite sleek nonetheless, and those fancy video boards that are sandwiched between the two tiers of seating behind each end zone. It's a great stadium that. and in high demand. Okay. Not only do the Owls play here, but the Army-Navy game is quite often held here. Uh -huh. Which brings me on to the next stadium. Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. Home of the Navy Midshipmen. Yes, well, it's the team kinda... wears navy blue. If that wasn't the case, I think Very I would start the a petition. One. The stadium itself has a fair bit of navy blue as well. The seating layout is nothing that you haven't seen before, except for one aspect. A typical grass berm clearly wasn't enough for them. They have a fancy seating? garden instead. Yeah. With some seats as well. It's a nice addition to wow. what would otherwise like be a navy. fairly okay. standard stadium. Oh, and ah, another nice addition like is uh, this jet. They might be stealing the Air Force's thunder with this one. A submarine would have been yeah, cool, why? but I suppose what? the Navy is responsible well, I guess for the Navy aircraft does have carriers, jets as well, so, so fair enough. And it's done up in the team's colours. Bonus points for that. Mm. Oh, wow. Nippert Stadium, home of the Cincinnati Bearcats. As That's far as horseshoe field. stadiums go, what this the? one's got a lot going on. Like many European stadiums, you can tell that it started out as just a regular sports field and then expanded outwards, so there isn't a uh, lot of room to spare, what? like there is with most college stadiums, Why is it got... which combined with the sunken field gives it like this the, unique uh, look campus. where the oh campus buildings are pretty much part of the stadium, especially this one that's basically on the concourse, so plenty of people in these buildings get an excellent view of the field, what an office that would be. Since the renovations five or six years ago, it's become one of my favourites. Purely for its uniqueness and how it blends old school with new school, literally. And the upper deck over on this side looks incredible. Oh, and excuse the it's soccer field, it was home to Cincinnati's MLS team for a few years. Oh, okay. Oh, well that narrows it down, I guess. Raymond James Stadium, Tampa, home 65. of the South oh Florida God, Bulls. This stadium. A second NFL stadium. Uh, I'd say it's not quite oh, as Tampa impressive Bay. as the one in Philadelphia, okay. if it weren't for one thing. If you watch the NFL stadiums video, then you'll know that the most important part of this stadium is the pirate ship. Yes, in this conference there's the Navy, and a team called the Pirates. But the one with the ship <laughs> in their stadium ship. are the Bulls. What a load of bullship. Of course, <laughs> it is for the Buccaneers of the NFL, which makes sense, but still. The Buccaneers. The uniqueness oh, okay. doesn't Tampa stop Bay there. Okay. I believe it's the only stadium in the conference with a fully natural grass field. I presume that's so oh. the bulls can graze on it. None of this grain-fed nonsense. They have a ship. That's brilliant. H.A. Chapman Stadium, home Oklahoma. of the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. It shares the honors of being the smallest stadium in the conference, along with Yulman Stadium. 
Hurricane? Well, that's basically all it shares with Yulman Stadium. The design is Tornado completely would different. Have been better, but anyway. It's simple yet elegant. I really like the facades of the two main stands. They make me want to play this music. Yeah, God. Very cathedral like. Yeah, very cathedral. You see, that's real music. None of that Dougie McNugs stuff. <laughs> the seating behind the south end zone is also somewhat unique, being built into a mound of earth. I do like that, and the stadium as a whole. But I would like to ask if the part of a regular hurricane that you see is made up of mostly water, then what is a golden hurricane made of? Disturbing. Uh, or maybe it's just the way the sunlight hits the hurricane, making it appear golden. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. And that's that, it for that's today's we'll video. With, if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. I must say, this one's got a, quite a wide variety of stadiums. Uh, I love the fact that one's got a pirate ship. Uh, there's navies in here, there's pirates in here. Hurricane, golden hurricanes, I beg your pardon. Uh, for a, a club that's in, for a, a university that's in uh, Oklahoma, which I thought would have been tornado, but they're hurricanes. So kind of confusing. So, you know, they've got ones that have got NFL teams at it as well. Quite a few, actually. Uh, one where NFL teams basically go to die. Uh, I like this one. I like the variety of stadiums in this conference. Um, some smaller, more intimate ones where, and then you have the bigger ones as well too. So, um, I like that. I like that conference and quite a wide variety of actual places as well. It seems like their conference is obviously spread out. Like a lot of the conferences now are kind of spreading out coast to coast, you know? So, um, it has a pirate ship. I can't, I can't get over the pirate ship. I love that. I love it has a pirate ship. Um, fantastic. Fantastic. His jokes are getting worse or I'm just appreciating him more. I don't know. Uh, whatever it is, I like it. So let me know what you thought of that one. Uh, interesting conference, that one. Interesting conference. American Athletic Conference. Like he said, I guess that could be anybody. I guess that could be anybody. But I guess they got to come up with some name. So... Uh, it'd be interesting to see how, I mean, obviously some of them are very, you know, big 12, big 10, obviously. Um, but some of the conferences you think, how did they name that? How did they name, come up with that name? Um, interesting. So maybe we'll find a video about that. Who knows? So let me know what you thought of this one, guys. Thank you very much for joining us today. Make sure you stay safe and I will definitely see you in the next reaction video. Did you enjoy that video? Why not watch another one?